sleeping on you. Good morning, you guys. So today I'll be showing you how to make a breakfast pizza, but in the shape of a Christmas tree. And I'll only be using uh, some sausage flavored country gravy, some bacon that I already put in the air fry and broke down about three eggs. So let me grab my cutting board and we can get started. And this is the clear acrylic cutting board. So no, I'm not cutting everything on my time to I grabbed this pizza dough from Walmart. It's like $3.97. I'm just gonna unroll and show you how to cut the shape out. And I'm making a small one because we try our best to stay away from bread. So this will be small. Just for the girls to have something to eat for breakfast. And I'm gonna cut a triangle. Just the same as I ever and if you need to make two pizzas, you can. Then pour my pizza. If you need to make two pizzas, you can because you can use the these two outside pieces, flip them together, and it'll make another. I'm just gonna put this on a plate because I'm pretty sure I can use it for something else. So I'm gonna cut the top. So right across here, just cut it. And you're gonna get a smaller triangle like this. This is your trunk. We're gonna take it and place it under the bottom. So now we have a trunk for the tree. All right, then we're gonna take this top piece and scratch it out. You don't need nobody else, and you're putting this song on me. Forgive me. So that's how it looks. And I'm just gonna take a fork and put holes in it and transfer it to a baking dish. This is not the tree. This is the gravy packet that I'll be using. Um, I bought it at Walmart for like a dollar and six or a dollar and eight cent. You've been down from the goal. Recognition's what you want, and it's something that I should know. It's something that I should know. All the things that we went through, girl, I never meant to put you through it twice, no. Tell me how can I right my wrongs? It's something that I should know. Yeah, because I don't see a 278. I'm sorry, what? The, the number, the tree number 278, I only see the 259s. Is it the last one? No. You want to? Yes. One, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go check in the back here. That's fine. One second. Thank you. We do? Yes. I only need one. Okay, so I'm going to bring that for you and then we'll do one in the room. Okay, thank you. Oh, these are so cute. I'm on my way to the DMV because your girl just been out here driving from Texas to Alabama and everywhere else with no license. And I'm finally about to get them back after two years. And truth be told, I'm shitting bricks. I'm nervous because I gotta take everything. Like I took this stuff over 18 years ago when I was in middle school, if I'm not mistaken. Now I gotta, I gotta take the written test over, followed by the road test. And Texas don't even give you no handbook to study for the written test. So at this point, I'm like, what's on me? And I know I know some of my road signs. I should know all of them as long as I've been driving, but I don't. Um, yeah, so I'm just 
think I'm psyching myself out. I always overthink the situation. But I am nervous and I wish you luck. Yeah. The ribbons and bows Oh my god. We checked the class and we come back from high blood. Let's go. Y'all, so I knew I wasn't crazy. And I knew I had bought some stuff last year to put on my kitchen cabinets. The bowls and stuff I was going to do last year, but I got preoccupied and then all of a sudden it was January and I never put it up. I had to come downstairs and check the trunk of my car. Here's the bag. I knew I had it. And Kima over there laughing at me. Y'all see her laughing. Ain't nothing funny. So I don't have to rebuy this, but I am about to check and see what all I got and about to add some stuff to it, but I knew I wouldn't trip them. The Grinch stuff that they have in Hobby Lobby is so cute. The girls actually wanted to do a Grinch tree, but we don't see any Grinch decorations. We just see the stuff that you can have for like tableware. Um, we're gonna look some more and see if we can find it and I think these are so cute so these would be like for the smaller kids it's indoor snowball fight they're the cutest I thought about getting them for the girls and I but $17.99 baby they can stay here I got a bunch of this stuff last year I have a video that I'm gonna repost from when we had a Grinch movie night and it was a hit everyone loved it Hey you guys, so I just went out of Barnes and Noble. I got me a well-spoken thesaurus. I want to articulate my grammar. Even though I'm 33 years old, I think I still can do it. But anyway, Kima called me to come up to the mall with her because she had this trip for school and she got me walking around with her and her friends like I'm some little kid or something. Nah, go on back up there with your homegirls. But you my homegirls too? So I'm not you your like, homegirl. Home no. Home girl, I'm literally a broke best friend. You my broke best friend. I love my money out. I told y'all she always leaving her money at home. That's why she called me up here. Anyway, so yeah, we at the mall. This is fine. I like her little jumper. Nice. Anyway, so what we eat? Chick-fil-A. I don't want no Chick-fil-A. What you want? This is about me. I want Chick-fil-A. We're getting Chick-fil-A. They eat Chick-fil-A so much, she ought to be tired of it. Moves. Anyway, so Chick-fil-A it is. And I think I'm going to leave her up here with her homegirls. I'm about to go back home. I just wanted to have to pay for her food. Look at Chick-fil-A. I really miss you. Right, he's got a good. Katie got her shirt. That's all that matters. The honesty. She just wanted me to pay for her food, no, y'all. No, I mean, I miss you. Yeah, I bet. Is that the whole? Is, what the print at? Over there, chilling. I'm in the Corrado line with baby girl. We waiting on the oldest. 
Um, y'all slept all day today. I was supposed to get content. I was supposed to go to the Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, at home, Walmart. I've been on the couch sleep. It's that time of month, TMI, but your girl be drained. And I had to give me some much needed rest. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the girls once the oldest one gets in the car. I know we bought our Christmas tree the other night. And I also got me a styrofoam Christmas tree because I wanted to make the Christmas tree charcuterie board. So I'm thinking I might make that tonight and get it out the way for content. Um, we need to decorate our tree. We haven't even taken it out the box yet. We don't have a theme in mind because when we left Michael's and went to Hobby Lobby, they do have the 50% off sale. But when we left and we went, they didn't have anything that we wanted, nothing that jumped out and caught our eyes. So... We left out of there, got some food, and went home. We're just going to settle on something today. Because usually we put a lot of thought into our trees. Like one year we had an elf tree. It was beautiful. I think we spent about $600 on the tree and the decorations. We threw that tree away after Christmas. And then the following year we had a white tree. And we went to Cracker Barrel and got all of our ornaments. And it was beautiful. And y'all, if I can find the videos, I will post those so y'all can see them. Because both trees were beautiful. We kept that white tree up because we had a pink living room. We kept that white tree up for a whole year. So when Christmas did come back around last year, we were so ready for that tree to disappear, we threw it away too, ornaments included. And now we have we bought, bought another tree this year because we throw our trees away every year because living in an apartment, they don't have as much space as we need. And with me being a foodie, they send me appliances, a different appliance every week. So I need to do a giveaway to give away some of these appliances because your girl has too many air fryers to count. I got ice machines, toasters, pressure cookers, juicers, the list goes on. Should I do a giveaway? Yes, ma'am. Air fryers. Why for air fryers? You're not giving away the ice and cheese, though. Mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, I need to give do a giveaway. It's the end of the year. I need to give some of that stuff away because I, I just have too much. It's just too much for us. So we don't be having a lot of space. So we throw the trees away. Oh, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all because I honestly been asleep all day today. And I need to do something productive i'm trying my best to stick to posting a vlogmas every day hold myself accountable <laughs> and it's hard because when it comes time to edit i get sleepy i go to sleep and i have to get up the next morning edit the video and then post it just the following day because i don't want to post it at night and then y'all miss it but let me know in the comments if y'all like the vlogmas um if y'all have any recommendations for things that i should do I never understand how this oldest one is a cheerleader, but she hate when the camera her face. Watch how she look when she get in the car. Why you roll your eyes at me? Please stop recording me. Told y'all. Did y'all not see her roll her eyes at me? I know my, I know my child. A whole cheerleader out here, but don't like to be on camera. And so we came to Walmart. The girls are picking out the stuff for the tree. We're going with uh, red and white, some more like a gingerbread and candy cane thing. All right, so we went with gingerbread, man. Uh, we got what Walmart had. We should have came a little earlier this year, but I guess since we didn't, we really don't have that much stuff. But some of the stuff that we have is really cute, so I think it's going to come out good on the tree. And we went with silver, white, and red ornaments. And if it's not enough, we'll just have to come back and get some more. Um, I'm just going to say it. The ornaments and stuff that we put on this tree are very pretty. But however, this tree looks real naked to us and we don't like it. It's not giving what we wanted to give. I still need a skirt as well as a tree topper, but this is what we're working with so far. I guess we'll figure it out before Christmas. Hey girls, so today I'm about to go and handle some business. First thing first, God forbid I hold my arms up. Y'all gonna stop following me because my wax is long overdue. And as soon as I go get these kids lunches, Drop them off at this school. I'm heading to European Wax because I can't be out here like this. It's giving caveman. And that's unacceptable. So, I'm about to go get the girls lunch. I'm, I'm thinking Subway today because it's right here. Um, take it to the school, drop it off. They don't eat until almost 1 o'clock. But you can eat a sub in the time of the day. You ain't got to worry about it getting cold because that's what it's meant for. Y'all, I have to smell good because time I walked up in there, everybody turned their head to me and they was looking. And she was like, you smell so good. You smell so good. No issue. 
the time you walked in, we smelled it, y'all. So I'm in there just blushing, right? And then I give her the girl's order. Like, she knows me by face because I get the girls subway every day. And then some nights, they, they actually got to school, go home, eat the same thing. So she knows me. She already was calling out. She was like, white bread, turkey. And I was like, yes, ma'am. She was like, what What do you have on? You smell so good. And I was like, um, I have on brown sugar babe, cloud nine. And then I told us I have on the K.I.L.E. bougie marshmallow that just came out. She was like, oh, my God, you smell edible. <laughs> For a woman to tell you smell edible. <laughs> you know I smell good. But anyway. So I got the girls their lunches. Um, Katie's going to eat Cheetos today. And they're going to be shocked because usually I just get them a cookie and call it a day. But I said I was going to let them eat some chips today. So let me put this in their bags real quick and then we can go. <laughs> I'm busy trying to get content. Why I'm passed up the lady that's taking the orders down the line with the keypad. Now I got to order at the laundry. I'm so embarrassed. Thank you. you too. I be trying to respect all the employees. I don't like to hold my camera up high. I would have recorded in the room, but the way my armpits was looking, baby, I would just do that to myself. And that's all for this vlog, girlies. I'll talk to y'all next week. Drop in the comments any kind of content you guys want to see. Ask me some questions. I'll be sure to answer those in the next vlog. Or um, better yet, if y'all ask enough questions about me, Q and A, because I haven't done one. Get to know me. If y'all ask enough questions, I'll do a full video dedicated to that while I cook something. Or I might even do like a Tipsy Tuesday, drink a little wine, go sit at a bar and answer your questions. Because I'm gonna get y'all some real raw content. Because we family. But that's all for now. I'll holler at y'all next week.